Hey everyone, you're watching New Egg TV. I'm Steve, and today we're going to talk about tax preparation. H&R Block have some software that can assist you with that task. There are four different versions that you can choose from, and they're listed in a cross comparison page on hrblock.com. As you can see, each version builds on the prior to include more functionality. And I'd like to start with the things that they all share and then give you a brief explanation of each version. The first is an H&R Block's Max Refund Guarantee. If you find another do-it-yourself tax software preparation method that results in a larger refund or a smaller liability than what was calculated by H&R Block's tax software, then they will refund the fees you paid to file with their software and you may file an amended return using their tax software at no additional cost. The second is the 100% accuracy guarantee, which basically means that they guarantee accurate calculations or they'll reimburse you for the resulting IRS penalties and interest charges. Third, free in-person audit support. Should you be selected for an IRS audit, a tax professional will assist in the preparation for the audit and if needed, they will attend the audit appointment with the client for representation. Number four, free unlimited tax advice from a tax expert. Gain access to the block's tax advisors and get answers to your questions via the live chat option at no extra cost. And finally, you'll also get five federal e-files for free. Now, H&R Block's basic edition provides those with simple tax situations a means to inexpensively file your taxes, including the ability to import your 1099 and last year's tax return from TurboTax or H&R Block's software for free. The deluxe version adds functionality and interview questions to aid homeowners and investors in filing. It also adds one free personal state program. Premium includes Schedule C and Schedule E support for the self-employed and rental property income and expenses. The Premium and Business Edition is designed for small business owners. It supports LLC, corporate, S-corporation, partnership, estate and trust as well as non-profit tax returns, payroll and employer forms, and more. This video, however, is going to focus on the 2014 H&R Block Deluxe Edition. Now don't forget that you can also get this software shipped as a physical box or via software download directly from Newegg. But all that aside, let's jump into a demo of the program. Installing the software is pretty straightforward, so I'm not going to waste your time going through it. Uh, but I did want to mention that I'm using the downloaded version for this video. All right, so you're going to want to start by clicking the next button here, obviously, and then you also want to activate your copy by using the provided activation code. Optionally, you can also enter your own information to register the software. If you choose to do this later, it will warn you that you'll need that code to e-file your federal return for free. So I'm actually going to say to activate it later. And here we are at the main screen. H&R Block software will also prompt us to update, which is always important before filing. Uh, in this particular case, I've already updated, so it's not prompting us right now. I'm going to go ahead and click update, though, just to show you what would happen. It looks like the next update is going to be available on March 26th of 2015, so no update right now for me. Uh, you'll also see that uh, there are the, this is the welcome page and that we have a few different options here. If you're running short on time to file, you can always file for an exemption, extension, but keep in mind the IRS still expects you to estimate and pay any taxes uh, from 2014 that you owe uh, with your extension by April 15th, 2015. Uh, now you can also, once again, force those updates as I mentioned, uh, but let's go ahead and start with the return. If you filed electronically last year, this H&R Block software can import T13 or tax 2013 file types. So keep that in mind. I don't have anything like that, so we're gonna go ahead and skip. So next we can import Quicken, Microsoft Money, or other programs that support TXF or tax exchange format. Also H&R Block are working with payroll providers and financial institutions to import the needed information as well. Or you can just use paper forms like I'm doing for this particular demo. Uh, now they're going to ask us a, a series of personal questions to see which tax breaks uh, you may qualify for. Obviously you're gonna to wanna to answer these questions accordingly. Go ahead and click next. We're going to start out with the, uh, the personal information. You're going to want to select your filing status. And if you're unsure, you can basically uh, click the guide me for options. 
and we're going to go through all these other questions that they might ask depending on whether or not you've been uh, you've lost a spouse or, or a job or perhaps you got married bought a house things of that sort are all the different life changes so here I'm actually going to put that uh, I was single and of course can you guide me to help you if you needed help with that tell us about your personal information I'll click next more information that you're gonna to want to fill in as well any special situations, whether or not you're a full-time student, or if you can be compl if you can be uh, claimed as a dependent, uh, things you're going to want to keep in mind and check everything that's going to apply. Now, what you're going to want to do is confirm our 2013 refer return information and what was your uh, filing status back then. I'm just going to consider that there were no changes and that possibly you did a 1040EZ. Uh, moving right along. 2014 has several tax laws that HR Block software will check um, uh, my uh, eligibility against and just to make sure I get the biggest possible return. Now, this includes the changes that have occurred uh, all in an effort to inform you. Uh, this, of course, includes the new additions as well as expired breaks. Now, if you have any dependents, obviously this is the section where you're going to want to enter those in and tell information about them, including their relationship, their living situation, uh, things of that sort. If you have any, any questions, if you need more help, you can always click the uh, learn more if you're wanting to know more about resident alien versus U.S. citizen or the guide me button uh, are both available to you. And if you have additional dependents, you're going to want to add them here. I'll finish that. And we're going to move along to uh, health insurance coverage. Uh, my fictional character is a, is a full-time student, John, and he has college student insurance. Uh, so the couple questions that I ask you is, did everybody in your household have minimum essential coverage the whole year? If you have any questions, you can click learn more. I'm going to say yes. And moving forward, marketplace health insurance. Anybody in your household have insurance acquired through a federal marketplace? No, because you'd have to go to healthcare.gov to get that. And your health insurance based on what it told us, everything's great, keep moving, clicking next. Your customized interview, um, basically making sure that we finish this up, that last year I had a simple return and the filing status is the same, so no other changes here. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Now we're gonna start on the income. Uh, we'll need our income documents for this. I'm using a fake W-2, uh, but you might also have some forms of 1099s here. Now it's actually asking me if I want to upgrade a premium because I can get uh, additional pluses like live tax advice and one state, uh, one free state included in addition to the one that I have right now. That might actually uh, be because I haven't entered my key yet. Uh, so I'm going to say no, no thanks and continue. So common income types, depending on how you've gathered your income for 2014, you'll need to select one or more of these options. Keep that in mind. Now obviously retirement, if you had in a, a 1099R or Social Security, you're going to want to include that information as well. Um, other income, if you were obviously an Alaskan permanent uh, resident, then you'd be able to get funds uh, as well as these other options, including a scholarship income if you're a student. Now foreign accounts and financial assets. Uh, none of these are going to apply to the fictional character that I have, but if you in real life actually have something like this, you're definitely going to want to include it. And it won't let me go unless I say no to that. Then you're going to want to double check all of your income information. If everything looks good, you're going to want to go ahead and move forward. At this section, we're going to talk about income adjustments. Um, that's going to include things like your student loan payments, or if you're a K through 12 educator, any of your classroom expenses that weren't already included, alimony payments, job related moving expenses and the like. Of course, you have uh, the adjustments here. You're gonna to wanna to check box. You'll want to double check your income here and make any necessary corrections if anything looks incorrect. All right, and moving on to the deduction section where you're gonna look at your expenses that's going to reduce your total income and that's gonna put you into a different tax bracket and hopefully uh, give you a bigger, bigger return. Uh, moving right along, we have state and local taxes. Aside from what you've already submitted in your W-2, in the W-2, you might have paid uh, additional taxes. So during your time working, you could you've been paying taxes, but you might actually have paid additional. And check any of these that would apply. You can click the What Qualifies link uh, for more information on that. And your standard deduction for. Uh, someone filing a single will be $6,200 and you can itemize your expenses if they apply to any of these topics and possibly get more back. 
uh, this, this effectively lowers your overall taxable income and allows you to reach a lower tax bracket, thus potentially lowering, lowering what you pay. The software will walk you through those steps by clicking on the appropriate links in this page and it will provide the guidance on what to itemize. At the end, it will advise you on which of the options gives the higher refund, itemize or standard deduction. Now it gets interesting. These expenses you can claim for a credit. That would include child and dependent care expenses, college tuition payments, retirement savings, adoption expenses, and energy efficient home improvements. Go ahead and click next. Uh, credits, you're going to want to click any that apply here too, including child and dependent care as well as tuition. And uh, when it's all said and done, you're going to want to double check all of your credits. And it can also explain each one of the amounts, or you can learn more about that cal those calculations here uh, by clicking the appropriate links. And click next and we're moving right along to taxes penalties and payments um, obviously you're gonna have certain expenses in your life and depending on what they are you might actually get a tax break for that um, or in this particular case these are the additional taxes that you might have to pay uh, moving right along federal tax payments uh, choose all of them that apply 2013 refund that was applied back to uh, or applied forward to your 2014 estimated tax uh, or any of the others that are listed here. Double check your taxes and penalties and payments. And if any of these situations apply to you, identifying if someone else, uh, identifying someone else to discuss this return with the IRS. So if you you are not the person who is currently su submitting this, you're going to want to click that. But otherwise, if you need to file an extension or amend a previously filed one, or if you received a letter from the IRS and need to use that uh, IP PIN number, you'll want to go ahead and check mark that and move forward. Now the federal return is just about done. And click next. It uh, runs an accuracy review, and the results in this particular review is that there's 10 issues. Um, the addresses are all missing, most of the information is missing, but I actually have one that I've pre-done um, that I'll go ahead and open up now. So you can see my federal, it gives me a final uh, income here of $26,678 that this fictitious user had with some minor adjustments for paying loans, and the AGI is here at 26528 Total amount of deductions was 6200 and exemptions were $3,950. Um, bottom line is that the total refund is here down in the orange of $2,795. Now, you'll want to file your state taxes uh, now at this particular point here, uh, but you'll be prompted to select and download the appropriate state information, and that's going to be based on your tax situation and which state or states you need to file taxes in. I'm not actually going to complete this section, so I guess that wraps up the demo. All right, everybody, that is going to wrap up our video on H&R Blocks tax software. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you all in the next video.